Hello and welcome to my DES 313 reassessment video. The topic I decided to talk about uh, in my project is immersion through environmental storytelling. Now, of course, immersion can be achieved with many different elements, mostly its gameplay loops, but also music, audio design, level design, and many other things. For for this project, I will specifically talk about how it is achieved through environmental storytelling. Now, in video games, narrative design is always something that fascinates, fascinates me, especially when writers can tell a story without even using dialogue and just by showing us a location and then creating this sort of mystery and leaving us, the player, to figure out what is what has happened exactly in this place that we are in right now. It's always fascinating when game writers and designers can tell a story without dialogue and or leave it to, play, to the player to figure out what exactly happened. Mysteries such as these can then create a lot of theories and speculations within the game's community. When playing an open world game such as Cyberpunk, the Dragon Age or The Witcher, the player will often stumble upon abandoned places such as this. A term that I came across in my research that I find very fitting for this is quests or events that don't involve the player, meaning events that happened long before the main character or characters showed up. It's always very interesting and immersive to uncover and piece together what exactly happened in places like this, and you will see what I mean in just a moment. So here we have our top-down game and our merry band of adventures. This is a medieval fantasy setting, which I think is fitting for what I am to going to talk about today and what I'm going to show in this prototype. As you can see, this is an abandoned village. And if we look around, there is nobody living here. There are no NPCs or anything. And if we look around, we can see that the fence that is supposed to keep this village and the villagers safe has been destroyed in several parts. There is also these bushes and shrubbery, meaning that nobody has been taking care of this place for quite some time. And also this like tiny swamp that is uh, forming here. Meaning again, this place has been abandoned for quite a while. And we can see that the houses are damaged. For example, this house has a hole in the roof. This house has a hole. Apologies. This house has a hole in the wall. And this house has a hole in the roof. There is also some icicles here and a little bit of snow, meaning it's still winter. And also the place is completely empty. There is nobody living here, meaning Either the people living here took all of their things when they left or maybe something or someone stole or their, all of their things and we don't know where the villagers are. Now, like I said before, you can see a lot of places like this in open world games and writers will often leave it to the interpretation of the players themselves to find out what has happened here. And personally, and a lot of players find these little mysteries very immersive. You can make certain theories as to what happened here. Sometimes those theories are confirmed, sometimes they are not, unfortunately. But again, they do garner a lot of theories and speculation from people playing this game as to what happened here. And that is all that I wanted to talk about in my video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.